OK, so in an earlier video, we looked at how we can identify whether two events are independent. So we said that A and B are independent. So independent events, they won't affect one another if and only if the probability of A times the probability of B is equal to the intersection of A and B. So that gave us a checking tool to determine whether two events were independent or not. Now, seeing as we've just covered conditional probability, we now have another way of identifying whether two events are independent. And so what we can say is that two events, A and B, are independent if and only if the probability of A given B is the same as the probability of A. Or, vice versa, the probability of B given A is the same as the probability of B. OK? Now, if you think about this for a moment, it's quite straightforward as to why that would be the case. Because what we're saying there is that the probability of A, given that B's happened, the, given that we know that B's happened, the probability of A is the same as if we didn't know it happened. OK? Or the fact that it has happened or didn't happen, it doesn't make any difference. So regardless, it doesn't matter if B's happened. The probability of A given B is the same as probability of A. OK? And likewise, if A has happened, the probability of B is the same. So it doesn't matter. One has not affected the probability or likelihood of the other happening. And so they are independent. Now, the knock-on effect um, for the formula, you know, we say that the probability of A given B is the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. OK? Now, if A and B are independent, then the probability of A given B is the same as the probability of A. There we are. So then you can multiply up by the probability of B. And lo and behold, you get exactly the same formula that we had before for um, independent events. So if A and B are independent, you get this, which is the same thing as before. So we now have these two ways. So if you were given uh, the probability of A and the probability of A uh, given B, and they're two different values, then clearly the two events can't be independent.